Uganda is endowed with 12 national parks. We have Queen Elizabeth, that is in Kasese. Uh, it is rich in tree climbing lions in that part of Ishasha. People have seen lions, lions are down, and it is only Uganda that has tree climbing lions. You know, there are tales that used to be told uh, to us when we were young that when a lion runs after you, the only way you can survive it is climbing a tree because it does not climb. Do not do that in Ishasha, in Queen Elizabeth. These lions, they climb trees and they look so beautiful up in those trees. So, Ugandans, what are we after? Go to Queen Elizabeth. We have Lake Mburu, it's here in Bara. Just a few meters away from town. It is rich in impalas, it is rich in cobs, Uganda cobs. It is rich in, uh, it has the biggest number of birds in the country. Go to Lake Mburu. We have Marshall Falls in the northwest of Uganda. It is rich in uh, elephants and other animals. When I say rich, it means it's the biggest number. It's rich in elephants, it's rich in impalas also. But people in Masindi do not know Maksham Falls, it's just a step away. You should visit these places. There are, there are so many things to learn about these places. For example, some of the people are destroying resources because they don't see the value in them, they don't value them. So when a person travels, they say to Maksham National Park, he is going to learn what's the importance, what's the importance of conserving the forest, what is the importance of having a gorilla in Uganda. But because of these people, they don't know the value in them. That's why they don't travel. But if they travel, that would be, it would be, they would learn. Hmm? It would be a source of learning to understand the importance of these natural resources. So, in, as a result, they will start, they will start doing what? They will start conserving them because they have learned about them. So that's the reason why they should what they should visit these destinations. That's the core reason why they should visit these destinations. Okay. Thank you so much.